guys so this is part two of my just fab videos I just recorded another video which is a full description of the just fab company and how it works so if you are curious about that and you want to know more um, and just with my opinion of the entire site and my experience of it then please check that out but this is this is just going straight into it of the purchases that I've made. So if you want to see more about the company itself, then check out the other video. So I'm just going to get straight into it. I have been a member for for around two years now. And last year I purchased 10 pairs of shoes. And then I didn't purchase anything this year at all until last month. So I had a huge break from them because I'd bought so many shoes. I was kind of covered for spring and summer this year. I still had the shoes from last year and they were still in amazing condition. I didn't feel like I needed anything. Uh, so I just didn't buy anything. And then as it was approaching autumn time, I thought now's the time to get back on Just Fab and start making some purchases again. So first of all, um, I had never really bought any of their clothing. It was just the shoes that I bought and I was really, really happy with them. I think they're a great price uh, and great quality and for the quality I think they're actually underpriced which is fantastic um, but the clothing uh, I was a bit dubious about the clothing sorry my hair's a messy um, I was a bit dubious about the, the clothing because first of all I feel like shoes and, and bags should be priced higher than clothing like some of their clothing it was just like a, a jersey dress or a jersey top you know, that like that thin, cheap material. And it would be priced the same as their boots or the same as a, a huge tote bag. And for me, that didn't make sense. I kind of felt like their clothing should be cheaper than a pair of boots. So that didn't really make sense to me. And nothing was blowing me over. Nothing was making me, me feel like, wow, you know, that is amazing. Nothing was, was wowing me. So I... Um, I said blowing me over, I think it's bowling me over. I think I just said the wrong phrase. As soon as I said blowing me over, I was like, is that's not even the right phrase, is it? But anyway, I just made up my own phrase. Never mind. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, so I wasn't that really impressed by by the clothing. There was a couple of things, but like I say, um, you know, I'd never purchased the clothing, so I was a bit unsure about that. But then recently they had a 50% off clothing sale and it was 50% off the entire clothing line which that made me excited because I thought now's the time for me to try out the clothes without paying the full price and to see what I to see what I think of it and if I do like the quality and if I do like the the pieces then I will shop with them in the future for clothes so the first thing I bought was actually I can show you this jumper that I'm wearing I actually bought from them I'll show you it I actually bought the wrong size as you can see it is huge but I kind of still like it um, it's very oversized it's not supposed to be this oversized I think it's supposed to be a bit more fitted um, but yeah it's it is big but the sleeves still fit really nicely so I didn't want to exchange it because first of all I really don't like sending things back you know it just really annoys me um, but I do really like it and I wore it out um, for like a family lunch like a casual lunch and I had so many compliments on it so I do really like it I like the style of it uh, it's really soft material some jumpers or knitwear um, can be quite itchy it's really soft so I'll just show you one more time it's got this detailing um, it's got the fringe wear um, and then it's got this like the holes more holes going down here and then changes there. It's just got lots of detail to it. Um, I just really don't like buying jumpers because I just think they're really boring and um, very uninteresting on the eye. But um, that's why I was interested in this one because it has so much detailing and it's a little bit different. So I really like this. Um, I believe this was, I think it was about £35 or something like that. Um, but obviously I got it for half price. Uh, another thing that I loved, and it was actually in my favourites for a while, 
um, and then when I saw the 50% off I thought yes definitely have to get it now was this jacket here which is gorgeous absolutely love this it's a faux suede which if you know if you've seen my other videos that I, I don't wear real leather or real suede or anything so um, yeah it's a faux suede so I love that and I love the buttons on it as you can see it's just really I really like it um, and this was priced it was like 50 something pounds obviously I got it half price so it was 20 something the only thing I will say about the clothing is that the sizes I really can't stand when companies put small medium large on their clothes that just confuses me because is it an 8 is it a 10 what is it I'm small 10 um, the reason I'm telling you this is because if you're a similar size to me then you will know which size to go for so I ordered a medium um, I did have in the back of my mind that, that that might be a bit too too big for me um, but I thought it's better to be a little bit too big than to order a small and then it's too small because I can't stand when something's too small it's better to be too big in my opinion so I did order a medium but as you can see from the jumper it is huge um, although the sleeves aren't too bad actually the sleeves are okay but it is too big um, and the jacket there's a little bit of room in the jacket so I could have gone down a size so if I do purchase clothing with them in the future then I will go with a small so just to explain so I'm a small 10 and yeah I would have to go for a small they do do an extra small as well so it's extra small small medium large and extra large and I think extra large is the biggest size but like I say I find it a little bit annoying and confusing when they when they do that instead of just the numbers that everyone's used to um, and then I ordered it's not really clothing it's more accessories and this wasn't in the sale but it's this faux fur, really gorgeous, really soft. I'll show you again. This faux fur stole, which is basically like a, a scarf. Um, and it's very luxurious and gorgeous. I can't even find the thing. And yeah, it's just lovely. And this was £20. Where is it? Oh, there it is. This was £20. I'm just trying to show you kind of what it looks like. Obviously you wouldn't wear it with a thick jumper, but you kind of wear it like this. And it's very glamorous and gorgeous. And yeah, I just thought it was really lovely. And it's so soft and it does actually look like real fur. So it's like a nice quality. Um, so yeah, I love that. And then on the inside, it's got like this satin material. And this was £20. And let's get on to the shoes. So, first of all, I purchased these, absolutely gorgeous, and these are called Winetta. All the shoes have a name. So these are Winetta, and these are just plain black faux suede. But the heel isn't suede. So it's just the boot itself, and the heel is different, and then it's just got the zip up the back. And if you'd like to see any of these clothes being worn or any of the shoes being worn or anything, um, if you look at my Instagram, you will see me wearing most of these. So you can see what they look like on. So there they are. And they are so comfortable. So, so comfortable. So comfortable. I wore them all day, walking around on a family day out, and it honestly felt like I was wearing flat shoes. So I love them so much that I actually bought them in tan, this gorgeous tan faux suede and even the heel is faux suede so I think I prefer these because of the heel but um, honestly they're so comfortable really sturdy and they're so well made they really are well made so that's the underneath they're just absolutely gorgeous and again these are called Winetta and these are both £35 each as well and then I also want to show you something because I won these in a competition on Instagram which I was really chuffed with it was just um, guess the caption and I guessed it and there we go and these are called I can't remember what these are called um, Mishi these are called and I think they've got different colors and they just lace up and again these are on my Instagram being worn so you can see them so thank you just fab so yeah that's the selection of clothing and shoes and every time I make a purchase I will share it with you guys I hope you all enjoyed that please like and subscribe and I'll see you all soon take care bye